Thank you. The boys had a great run. They sure did. Um, like the police chief, I was involved in a meeting with the DPW director last week in the rain um, to discuss four options. Um, I went on record a few months ago saying I don't support any of the options, and tonight I'm going to say exactly the same thing. I don't support any of the options. However, option number two, the fire department can live with if the town fathers say that's what we're going to live with. The reason behind that is any reduction in roadway width is going to hamper us in the event of a fire. It's going to cut down on our ability to have fire ground operations. Uh, the ladder truck is 16 feet wide when it's operating at a fire. So we need every foot of the street. Um, the other reason is it will slow us down. Will it make a difference someday? It's possible. Um, if we're at the DPW and have to go down Chestnut Street, we're going to have to slow down. So I've never, I, the fire department's never been for anything that would slow our response down. So my response to Mr. Carnavale was option two is probably the best option for the fire department. But we really don't support any of them. Clarify what option yeah. two is. Oh, the median. Sure. Hold on. The median. Less street. the speed table. Right. Pass the DPW heading downtown. What I have speed plus table. a strip. So what I have here is education enforcement plus installation of a temporary island is shown on the plan in the vicinity of Park Street. One speed table in the vicinity of the crest of Chestnut Street by Mr. Foss and Mr. Lab's home. Monitor and evaluate every 30 days. And then there's a little apprentice that says it's part of alternate three. That's what we discussed. Okay. That was what uh, the three of us recommended. Sir. Mr. Foley, Chief, you said you were opposed to, in, in theory, to all of them, even a truck exclusion? I wasn't asked about a truck exclusion. Okay, so, so I, I asked about a truck exclusion? I was, well, if we eliminate the trucks, and I can still go up and down the street. Well, you can go any place you want. That's right. <laughs> you got to get so, a ticket, though. As long as you get a light on, you can go. That's right. I was, I was asked to comment on four options from the previous meeting, which okay. I'm doing tonight, and to comment on the speed bumps that or the spe speed crosswalks from the previous meeting. I was never asked about a truck exclusion. <clears throat> truck exclusion wasn't back on the table when we discussed it. Yeah, and it, I mean, a truck exclusion is going to affect sense you to me. not at all. It's not going to affect it, you it at all. It makes sense to me, but, right. you know. I, I think the important thing is I think everyone needs to know that really the only way of of keeping truck traffic off a certain road is a truck exclusion. Everything else is just traffic calming. Everything else is just slowing down every piece of a, you know, every, you know whether it be a, a VW bug or, you know, or, or a Corvette. It's not, it's not going to take those trucks off the road. They're still going to, they're still going to go over them. I, you know, we, we have them where I work and, and, and they use that road still. So. Anyone have a question for the fire chief? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kimberly Smith, 151 Chestnut. Uh, my concern is that option two, the one that we're looking as sort of the major recommendation for today, includes an island, which I guess originally was going to be nearer to the corner of Ch Central and Chestnut, mm -hmm. but at the moment is sort of directly across from McGuire Field, quite frankly, in front of our house. My concern is, are the ambulances and fire trucks going to be able to get in my driveway? Well, we would never go in your driveway. We probably. Well, I hope you actually do. I mean, I hope you never do. Don't get me wrong, but I've had them there before, and I'd like them to come again I'm when sure I call. That the ambulance, I'm sure that the ambulance will be able to get into your okay. driveway. But if we had a fire, we'd probably like to stay out on the main street because it's more of a it's more of a suitable operation platform okay. out there. But from what I was told uh, from the DPW director is that the street width is wide enough to have the temporary island, and if that worked, a permanent island. So as long as they're saying that the street width is appropriate, then we should be able to do what we need to do. Okay. That's it, what I'm yeah. basing. That's okay. what I'm basing my information on. <laughs> right. Because there's one issue to go down the street, which right. would clearly slow you down. There's another issue, and I right. realize it's only for us, but to the, get in my driveway. <laughs> the problem. The problem also lies is that if you do have a barrier going down the street, well, now I may have to block the other side because I can't get apparatus right. across the uh, granite curbstone if it does become permanent. So it's a valid concern. Um, but right now, that's probably the best choice for the fire department. The speed okay. bumps, we really, we really don't like. We understood that. You were clear. Am I clear? You were clear. You were Crystal. Clear. Mr. Foley? Very good question, sir. The DPW director. Dick, um, if, if it was going to be a permanent island, 
would it be curbing? Because to answer the chief's to answer the chief's response, we can put you can ramp it so you could still it would still serve the purpose, but it would still allow you the opportunity to to jump it if you had to. That was for you, Dick, not for, <laughs> not for the chief. Uh, I've seen straight faced. I've seen slanted. So that is an option. <clears throat> I can't recognize you. I'm sorry. I keep looking at you, but I don't have the authority yet. <laughs> she already called me once. No, go ahead. Anybody else? Um, one problem that I have with the, another problem that I have with the, the island is it's, the, the markings go right across the middle of the um, manholes for the new electrical system, which is down under the road. The process is we put it on a piece of paper, then we go down and we mark it on the street, and we'll find out these obvious things. What we had on the map isn't going to work in the field. There's an opening to people's driveways. No one wants to be excluded to only go right turn only. So the reality of if Tanju to do it, where they go, they, they won't go over the electrical conduits. Okay, but what I'm, what I'm seeing is rather than this is the ideal place to put the island to slow the traffic down, this is the only place we can put the island in order to not conflict with driveways and manholes and and yes, other things the and reality it, of this is do we do we get the reality to reality says we put them right the but the do, most effective spot to do we get to the point where we have something that doesn't work because it's been restricted in so many ways possibly okay the, the other problem we have is the, the the problem is is up at new and haverhill and chestnut Street and the solution is, wait down in front of Kid Spot and Moynihan's. Well, yeah, we, we transitioned from a truck explosion to a speeding problem. Right, right. and so we'd like to. What we're talking about was for the speeding problem. Now we're right. transitioning back to the truck explosion. Right, we'd right. like to. We'd like to solve the yeah, truck problem. Cool pro this is a very good effect on the trucks, the island, as there's the speed tables. Right. To Kim's question, I had the unfortunate situation, but to the credit of the fire department, to have the ambulance in front of my home on more than one occasion for a very serious incident. And I can tell you they do not park in our driveway. However, they do park on the street. And I will tell you, just having it there with the width that it is today would, in, it, in and of itself, I couldn't even get home to get to the last incident, which was only about eight weeks ago, to my own home. So I would be equally concerned, to Kim's point, about where do the um, emergency vehicles actually park when they have to have an emergency situation at a resident's home. So thank you. Any place they want, I think. <laughs> Did we consider widening the sidewalks? Instead of making the, can we widen the sidewalks a little bit more and make the cars closer together instead of the cars out towards where the yeah. people are walking? You really don't want to put the cars yeah. coming you, at Like each other. I, I said earlier to, yeah. to the town engineer, if you're going to go 11 feet, you want to you want something separating those cars as opposed to bringing them together. Right. I figured they they, they, if they were closer to, together, it make they have a tendency to cross them. Right, they have a tendency to cross them. If they have to go around something, they have a tendency to cross right. them. Plus, uh, you know, the other thing, too, is the safety issue. The, the islands aren't a bad idea <coughs> if you're going to use them as a kind of a refuge for people crossing the street. You know, kids going from the park to the other side of, of Chestnut. I mean, if you're going to go that route. All right. That's They're best for some kind of like a... You know, places not a lot of curves cut either way. Okay, in this situation at that location, you can't avoid putting gaps, which does cut down the effectiveness. Mr. Briscoe? That point that uh, Mr. Foley just made is why I was a little confused about where I see the painting of these whole things. And I, I guess I'm a little disappointed that we see, we still don't, even if we decided today to go with these islands that we're talking about, we still don't know where they're exactly going. There still has to be a lot, of obviously, analyzing going on in your part manholes and so on and so forth I am a little surprised that that hasn't been done yet it just I mean we should know if we're going to do this where they're really going to go I mean and I, I get the sense we can't do that tonight is that true where they exactly they're going to go yeah the no. No, sir. and having the devices that far spread out again the research I've done is the optimum spacing is 400 to 550 feet apart no. we are clearly exceeding that gap between the one we're talking top of the hill and the bottom of the hill. Yep. So people go over that, speed up, go to the next one, 
as opposed to a constant speed. So we are, the compromise that we've been talking about really is not the optimum traffic timing solution yeah. due to the spacing. By taking out features, you actually you get less effective. I'm, just, I'm, just I'm getting a little bit of a mixed message from the neighborhood, I guess. Is traffic calming truly an issue, which is speed? You get the trucks. I mean, the truck exclusion, I'm in favor of the truck exclusion, you know, uh, and moving ahead with that. Do we need to calm the traffic there? Yes. And, what's the, is, and is there a consensus? I don't uh, know who you're going to call on. We actually addressed that at the meetings that we had. Reader, I am going to hear from you. Mr. Foster, Someday. Were, you able, were you able to attend either one of those meetings? I'm going to ask Mr. Foster directly, immediately after Mr. Foster, I'm going to you, Reader. Nate Foss, 127 Chestnut Street. Um, so, I don't know, I feel like we're back to square one also, or deja vu or something like that. But um, after hearing. Uh, all of the concerns, obviously, reading all the emails, reading all the literature, listening to the town officials, you know, and the plans that are on the table now, I, I feel that if we aren't going to go through a full complement of traffic calming for the street, it's really not going to solve the problems. So, you know, putting in one speed riser up by my house is only going to determine the timing, for example, where a truck decides to jake brake, quite frankly. It's really not going to uh, affect the speed and the abuses on the road, nor is an island where, you know, the trucks really don't have to slow down. I mean, these are, these are you know, skilled, you know, class three operators. They, 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 they can get down the road at the same speed with an island or without an island. So, you know, I, I feel that after hearing everybody, if we're going to alter the plan, and I understand everyone's concerns about the, the speed risers, or put in one or two, those trucks are only going to pick up speed again, and they're going to start jake braking at a, di at a different location in the neighborhood. So instead of jake braking when they hit the top of Chestnut Street, they're going to jake brake at you know Upton Avenue. Quite frankly, that that's what's going to happen. And I, I just think you know if if we can't come up with a compromise about road traffic calming that's going to ultimately uh, curtail the trucking, you know not just slow it down. We should file the exclusion. That's how I feel. That's my opinion. Thank you. And, and Rita, I love you to death, but do you mind if I? <laughs> I'm, I'm um, dying to hear you, but you're lucky you're not up for re-election. Um, I know this has been going on for two years. I've only kind of heard about it for the last six months, and and I, I had intended last meetings. So I guess I have a four years. Sorry. Thank you for correcting me. Um, my wife will be happy to hear you correct me. Um, but the question I have is, at any point in the last four years, then did, was it, and no disrespect to, to Mike, the town engineer, but was there ever an idea to call in a, a, a traffic engineer to take a look at it? Because I think we can all offer as many of our own opinions as we want, and I think it's objective. I think I'm going to have one opinion, Mr. Foss is going to have another opinion, Reed is going to have another opinion, and I think it might not be a bad idea to, to contract a uh, uh, traffic engineer. And again, Mike, no disrespect to you. I know, I know you're doing everything, and I think everything you've done on it is great, but I know that's not your expertise. So I don't know if that's worthwhile or not, but it's something I'll throw out there. Well, the question comes down to, again, what problem are we addressing? Well, I think that's, if you throw out both. The, the problem to address has kept moving. Well, from what I'm hearing right now, I mean, the bottom line is if it's, if it's, if it's a truck, then it's a truck exclusion, that's it. I mean, that's the only way you're going to get rid of trucks. But if it's if it's trucks plus a traffic calm issue, then I don't think it's a bad idea to <clears throat> spend a little bit of money, call a traffic engineer in, and unless Mike, you disagree with me and you think that anything that we're looking at here is probably within our offer. Well, with all due respect, the the board, I guess, is I mean, this is something that these are issues that are worked out in public here. I mean, that's the stage we're at, I believe. You know, we, 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 we're getting full public participation. I don't want to say for the first time, but it, it, almost for the first time. You, you, you have, um, I think if you get a consultant now, um, that's the first thing they're going to look to do. 
uh, like almost like a